What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan with Skills, and in today's video from Remnant from the Ashes, we're going to be showing you how to get the Rune Rifle. Yes, the rifle I'm currently using, and this bad boy is a beast, but getting it may be a little bit tough, and hopefully I can give you some tips and tricks to help you get it a little bit easier. So in this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about getting this rifle. So let's get into it. So first things first, before we even talk about how you get the rifle, let's talk about the talent that comes with the rifle. So what's so cool about this weapon mod is after charge, if the caster dies, they will be revived with 50% health. Now you will also take 10% less damage and be immune to status effects for five seconds. But remember this mod only is usable with this weapon. You cannot remove it from this weapon. So how do you get it? Once you get to the point in the game where you get to the Undying King, you need to refuse to give him the heart, the heart that he wants. After you refuse two times, he will start to fight you. And this is where it gets hard, right? Beating him was probably the most difficult thing I had to do until I figured out how to beat him. What you wanna do is you wanna destroy the enemies behind them first so they're not doing any damage. Now, once you finish them off, the Undying King will summon two orbs up top. You want to shoot those, either use an SMG or a shotgun or whatever your most powerful gun is. Now, I was shooting those with an SMG and a shotgun. The SMG seemed to shoot them down a little bit quicker, and then I could use the shotgun for the Undying King. But you want to stay around the stairs because you're able to shoot those orbs pretty quick. Now, he will summon some more enemies behind you. But what you need to do is just make sure you keep hitting those orbs out of the sky and then put as much damage as you can on him. Now when he first lunges at you, what you want to do is run back to the back pillar and then take out the enemies that were summoned for the second time. He will keep summoning enemies over and over so the quicker you can kill the enemies that gives you more time to do damage on him and just aim for his head. My shotgun does a lot of damage, so I was able to keep rolling away from him and put enough damage on him. Just keep damaging him, damaging him, and then take out the other enemies as soon as I can. But it was pretty easy. Now, once you get him to half health, so you eliminate two bars, he will go back to the middle, right where you first started fighting him. So what you want to do is make sure you eliminate all these enemies right here and what he's doing is he starts to heal up. So when he goes back to the circle, he starts to heal up. But don't worry, it's a slow heal. He isn't healing really fast. So you can take your time, get ammo. If you wanna heal up, if you wanna pop any consumables, you can do that. But at this moment right here, you see how slow he's healing? I'll be able to over damage him pretty quick with my shotgun. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna finish off the enemies right here. Once you finish them off, you can just start focusing on him and just start hitting his head. And then if you have a powerful shotgun like I am, you can pretty much take a chunk of his health really quick. Now, he's going to chase you one more time. And the same thing, you need to destroy the orbs first. Always get those orbs and be careful with him chasing you. Because if he melee attacks you too much, he will kill you a lot. And that's what was happening to me at the very beginning. Like he was putting a lot of damage on me when he caught me with his melee. But as long as you keep distance, destroy the enemy so they don't overtake you or they don't start putting too much damage on you. Healing up when you need to heal up and then always aim for his head. You should be able to drop him pretty quick. Now, once you finish him the first time, it's not over. He will come back to life, but with 50% health. So isn't that what we're going for? We're going for the beam rifle with that weapon mod that gives us 50% health after we die if we have it charged. So same thing. And then once he does that, he's gonna run right back to the middle. So what you wanna do is take out all the NPCs, all the enemies that are around him, and then you can just start focusing the damage on him because he's just gonna heal up. It's still a slow heal. So make sure you heal up. Make sure if you need to pop your consumables, pop your consumables. Right now, I'm a little bit low on ammo, so I'm gonna use a consumable so I can get my shotgun shells. And then once I finish off these guys right here, I'm just gonna unload on his head once I'm fully loaded with ammo. There we go. And then we're just gonna put out a lot of damage on him and not even let him get away. And there we go. That is how you beat the Undying King 
and we get the item that we need, the Undying Heart. So now we can head back to War 13 and craft that weapon that we needed. You will also notice that you get a trait that works really good with this weapon. So let's head to War 13 and then craft the weapon that we need. So once you arrive to War 13, go speak to the same girl that you always speak to when you craft those weapon mods or those weapons. And there you go, the Ruined Rifle with the Undying Weapon Mod. The only weapon that can use this mod. So you need the Undying Heart and then you also need Luminite Crystals. So that is how you get this beast of a weapon. I'm actually going to upgrade this as soon as I get some more Luminite Crystals. So I'm going to farm for those and then hopefully this will be my primary go-to weapon besides my shotgun. And don't forget, once you do unlock this weapon, you also get another trait that works really good with this weapon. So if you still have any questions on how to get this weapon, use the comment section down below. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up. And as always, guys, I appreciate all the support. But until the next Remnant from the Ashes video, nothing but skills is out.